What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. We got to go over Ethereum Classic and the technical analysis with Ethereum Classic today. But before we go that, please, please, please hit that like button, subscribe, and check out the link in the description for free stock with Robinhood, Webull, and public.com. And also leave a uh, comment in the comment section and let me know what you guys want to hear about next. So let's go right over the price prediction and also the technical analysis for Ethereum Classic. So all in all, I do predict that Ethereum Classic is going to continue to rise, but we're probably going to retest some more resistance. As you can see here, we are already testing the support way back here, and now we're about to retest this resistance. Hopefully, we can actually break it, but what it's looking like right now is that we're going to continue to go down on this downtrend because as you can see here, we are on a little downtrend here with Ethereum Classic, and it's been going like this with almost every single crypto, so I don't want to just say Ethereum Classic. You know, pretty much everything has been going down on this downtrend ascending triangle anyway but any descending triangle not ascending triangle but descending triangle so yeah we are going down on a downtrend here but remember i'm not a financial advisor none of this financial advice i'm not being like sell ethereum classic or buy it because of this price prediction in this technical analysis just showing you generally where we're probably going to end up going and to be completely honest we're probably going to retest the support line back at 61 dollars and then eventually down to 58 dollars if we continue to go down if the overall cryptocurrency market continues to drop so let's actually go look at what we have for the overall cryptocurrency market because bitcoin you know everything's really going to follow bitcoin let's be completely honest and then you also got ethereum and stuff here so ethereum is up 6.37 percent pretty good right there and it's also up 7.66 percent and ethereum classic is more likely to follow ethereum than bitcoin just remember that so two days ago the bitcoin dominance was at 44 percent in dominance as you can see up here so then also two days ago, you remember we also had, you know, Ethereum around 18, 17% dominance, give or take somewhere around there. So now that you see Bitcoin now at 42.4% dominance and Ethereum at 19.2% dominance, you see Ethereum is kind of taking some more dominancy. I've seen some articles earlier today about Ethereum overcoming and overpassing Bitcoin. I don't know how true it is or how true it is in the future, but you got to look at the reality of it. $885 million market cap here for Bitcoin. And then you can see $400 million market cap here for Ethereum. So Ethereum is on the rise. You cannot deny that at all. And with Ethereum on the rise, Ethereum Classic will be on the rise too. Ethereum Classic being ranked number 20th right now. So we have a lot of potential here with Ethereum Classic. Now, Bitcoin's still going down here, 46.9K. So if Bitcoin continues to go down, everything else is going to continue to go down. But as you can see here, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, they're not going to really be following that. They're kind of following their own path here because Ethereum is really just going to follow Bitcoin more. Or I mean, it's Ethereum Classic is going to follow Ethereum more. All right. But anyways, let's go over this technical analysis. So Ethereum Classic buyers are not fading without a fight targeting 20% gains. So yeah, we're not backing down here. Anyways, Ethereum Classic is looking for support around our one monthly resistance. Buyers are trying to break the descending trend line from August 15th. A retest of $78 would mean 20% upside potential. So Ethereum Classic has been wrong-footed since August 15th and has been descending since then, but buyers do not seem convinced that they need to let short sellers take control. Sellers are trying to squeeze out the buyers at $60, but buyers are reluctant to forfeit their longs. So this caused a break of that descending trend line on the August 28th. That trend line is being chopped up now by both buyers and sellers. So as you can see here, really since the 16th, we've been going down on this trend line. But August 28th, this is where they're talking about here, where we started to go down. But anyways, I do believe we could bounce back from this. But this is just consolidation. Let's be honest. It's like a consolidation period. We're going to trickle down here to, like, to the end of this wedge. And if we break out and continue to go down, which will more than likely be what happens, you know, we kind of go something like this and have a drop down to here and then retest our res our previous resistance that we had up there. That's what I believe will happen. But anyways, I do believe we're going to drop back down to $58 or $59, give or take somewhere around there. So that's going to be what's coming in the future for us. That's the near future, not the far future. But anyways, buyers can easily protect price action in Ethereum Classic and lock in 20% gains within days. The double bottom works very well as a tandem as buyers fade into Ethereum Classic price between $59 and $61.50. The lowest level at $59 is short-term support originating from August 18, but shows that it is holding up price action just fine. The proof is from the descending candle of the uh, August 26 pair that we just now showed on the screen. Now, I actually want to talk about something else with Ethereum Classic here. So look at this. We are up 26.6% in the last 30 days and, you know, pretty much stagnant for the last 14 days. We've been really just moving sideways for the last 14 days, you know, up, up and down, up and down, but nothing 
more than that. It's just been stagnant sideways. So let's keep moving on here with this technical analysis. Now, over here, we can see all those sellers are trying to squeeze the price action back down to that level. The monthly R1 resistance level is again reclaiming support as the bodies of candles could not dip or even stay below 6150. But now we're at 6337. So expect some choppiness in the price action, but a breakout is expected this week. The best signal to the half that buyers are in control would be to see a higher pop. So we are going to have a breakout. Like I said, just wait for it. Just wait for this consolidation. Right after this consolidation, it's probably going to fake us out. You know, it's going to act like it's going to keep going down and it's going to go down below the wedge and it's going to hit that support line. But after that support line, we're going to have so much momentum build up that we're probably going to end up having a huge jump in action price action like they said previously so definitely watch out for that right there anyways that would be the best sign that buyers are in good solid trade and 20 percent upside would bring us to a retest of the level of the august 15th high and that was way up here when we were all the way i think that was all the way 76 dollars around 76 almost 77 dollars so yeah we can see 76 to 77 dollars in about a week maybe two weeks with ethereum classic so that's my short-term price prediction. For talking long-term price prediction, I'm going to say $200 by mid next year, you know, maybe May next year, somewhere around there, 200 by then. I'm definitely going to load up on some Ethereum Classic. I really feel like Ethereum Classic has some huge potential, so I'm definitely going to keep watching out for that myself. So let's also go over one more thing here with Ethereum Classic. So three reasons why Ethereum Classic could win and shift of proof protocols. So with so much attention paid to cryptocurrency lately, it's only natural that the number two Ethereum generates plenty of headlines, particularly for its shift towards a proof of stake protocol. On the other hand, Ethereum Classic looks comparatively anacrostic, insisting on staying the course with proof of work. So, but could the environmentally unfriendly status quo be a lifesaver to Ethereum Classic? So let's go down here. And they also said this, this you cannot forget. This is one of the main things you got to read in this article. For full disclosure, I'm a supporter of Ethereum as well as Ethereum Classic, owning modest positions in both underlying cryptocurrencies. So they're, they're really for both. They're not just choosing one over the other. They say, yet when I hear this talk about proof of stake and how wonderful it's going to be to me, it sounds like blockchain babble. <laughs> That's what they're saying. So you got to take it from that perspective. So anyways, they say the first reason why you can see why Ethereum Classic could win and shift approved protocols is it could take from the Soviets or it needs to take from the Soviets, they're saying. Communal work will never work, they're saying. So as mo as with most Americans, I'm absolutely horrified with the images coming out of Afghanistan without getting into any of the geopolitical underpinnings. It's undoubtedly a human tragedy. tragedy. <laughs> Perhaps not surprisingly, though, certain Russian diplomats had choice words for the U.S. exit. It's interesting because decades ago, the roles were flipped. The Americans were telling the Russians, well, the Soviet Union at the time, to get the P-U-C-K out of Afghanistan, a common backdrop meaning. So yeah, they're having some kind of political date here, debate here. But anyways, the incursion into Afghanistan was a lesson we should have learned from the Soviets, but we didn't. Now, Ethereum is about to make another error that the Soviets committed long ago, assuming that communal equity initiatives will work. So that's that's definitely true. I don't I don't know, but uh, let's leave that to them to the professionals to debate about, right? While the math, right? While with the math work, I think it's possible to create fairness in a given community of analog or digital. It's not just that Soviets look at some of the countries or entities that have democratic or liberation in their names. They're anything but what they claim to be. So they're saying this could be the same thing with Ethereum. They're not communal workers, as they're saying. I, I don't know about all that. Anyways, Ethereum Classic runs a proven platform. They're saying another factor to consider for Ethereum Classic is that its, it's underlying POW protocol is a proven foreign platform. Now, it's not perfect. And they're saying it's proven, unlike Ethereum's proof of stake that they're trying to go and go about. And also, Ethereum Classic economics makes sense, they're saying. So those are their three reasonings. Let me know what you guys think of this whole proof of stake that Ethereum's undergoing. And if you think Ethereum Classic is going to prevail because of that. Because I do believe if Ethereum Classic stays on the path that they're on right now and just stays on the original path they've always been on, they're going to do good. But it's when you start going off the left field where you just start to mess up. So that's definitely what we're probably going to see. I don't, I'm not, I don't want to just say Ethereum would go through that path like ethereum is going to go on a proof of stake and fail i do not believe ethereum is going to fail ethereum is too big to fail let's just be honest that's like saying walmart makes a change inside their policies and all of a sudden they fail walmart is too big of a corporation to fail 
Same thing with Ethereum. It's too big of a crypto to fail no matter what they do. So I definitely believe that it's going to continue to prevail. But Ethereum Classic is going to have a huge run up. I believe that. So yes, my price prediction is $200 by mid yet next year. Somewhere by May. Somewhere around there. But anyways, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. But if you do like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe. It helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. And I will love you forever if you do it. And also, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys want me to go over. I have all these little notepads about stuff that people have been talking about. And I'm definitely going to keep going over it. A subscriber asked to have an Ethereum Classic video. So I definitely made that for you guys. And also, please check out the links in the description for free stocks with Robinhood, Webull, and Public.com. We'll both get free stocks if you do that. And I'll be back with another video. Peace.